the Grace Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. We don't cover a lot of like world news, war type stories. Try not to. Yeah. But, you know, this week, some I think one of the wildest things I've ever heard happened in the uh, in the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah, the terrorist organization. Israel versus the world. Right. So they had, I guess, I don't even know how to explain it. So, like, Hezbollah was carrying around pagers. Mm-hmm. Like, because it's, it's 1997. <laughs> Hezbollah was forced to use an archaic form of, uh, of communication because they were being tapped by Israel. Israel managed to somehow intersect the shipment that was being sent to Hezbollah and they modified the devices so that they could be set off as personal explosives uh, and, via remote control. And I don't know how long this had been happening, but I guess the story that I read said that they heard that Hezbollah was tipped off. So they had to like, they were going to, they were holding it because they wanted to, to do a full out like war against Hezbollah. Yeah. Well, it became, we got to do it or we're not going to be able to do it. And they set off like 3000 pagers at the same time. Mm-hmm. And there was like videos and like, it was very interesting because it was like, they weren't giant explosions, but enough to like really hurt people. Localized. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause like there was a guy like in the grocery store and all of a sudden you just see this like flash and the people standing around him didn't get hurt really. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and it ended up. I don't know how many ended up dying, but there was like three thousand injured. A handful died. You yeah, know, I heard there was maybe like twenty three, somewhere in that twenty range. So, so that's wild. Mm-hmm. Then the next effing day, they They're, blow up their walkie talkies yep. the same way. Yep. Even more apparently, uh, a one there was news of a child that was actually killed in the first uh, wave of explosion. And there was like a UN, some guy or somebody got hurt in the first mm-hmm. wave too. Something like um, that. And at the funeral for one of the individuals, I believe it was the, the child, a second explosion went off from the walkie talkies during the funeral. Oh my God. Yeah. Kind of nuts, but dude, I mean like, uh, you know, and uh, I saw stuff online of people being like, man, I bet there were innocent people. I mean, there probably was, but like the, yeah. the the point that I the counterpoint I saw was like innocent people ain't carrying around Hezbollah pagers. It ain't like it ain't like they just like bought it off the black market. Yeah, yeah. If you carrying one, you're part of Hezbollah or close to somebody who is. Wow, I mean, the guy at the grocery store though. Hezbollah dude's got a shop for groceries. The dude that's just like standing in, in line and the kid runs past him and the... I mean, yeah, that I mean it's I mean it's a it's, wild it's a wild war tactic. So it's a wild war tactic. It is clearly in violation of standard war statutes, man. Especially I think against Are you sure about there's that? There's one against booby traps. There's definitely one against booby Oh, like Geneva trap. Convention type stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is um, that a fact? Do you know that? That's, or is a, that... that's 100% okay. a fact. I'm not sure if this necessarily is under that or if it doesn't constitute because I don't know the statute by heart. Right, right, But right. I do know that you cannot be doing this kind of stuff because, like, why haven't we would have been doing this a long time ago? Yeah. And I can't I can't even say that it's not smart because it is very smart. I mean, because if I'm in Hezbollah, I don't want to have any electronic equipment anymore. Exactly. You can't even use phones. We can't use phones, guys. Sorry. Yeah, because your 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 pagers blew up, your walkie talkies blew up, and yeah. then you, your phones are being hacked by the enemy. Yeah, it's like how the hell do you talk to each other? I mean, and and look honestly, I'm 100 percent on like you know fuck Hezbollah, you know free Palestine, but fuck Hezbollah. So I think that anything that can get you more localized, where you're only affecting those individuals who really need to pay the price for the crimes that were committed that day in Israel, then yes, do that. Because you do need to, like, if it if it happened on American soil and and Iraq did or something, I'm like, get the people who did it. As far as the innocent people in the street, I don't want them affected. Right. But get the motherfuckers who did it. Yeah. So, well, yeah, and I, then I yeah, so then there was like so then like yeah, they're from they're they were stationed in Lebanon. Yeah. And they were like firing rockets back and forth. I guess like I guess today, Israel. Uh, 
struck somewhere, which killed civilians because they were hiding out amongst civilians. But it's, they, uh, Hezbollah did confirm they killed one of their top generals because he was hiding underneath a house in like a residential neighborhood, mm. and they like blew that up, which is still like wild. Like it's like the whole thing of like there's a lot of weird perceptions. So I don't know, like you know what I mean, like who's right. I mean, war, no one's really right, I guess. Um, but it's like, but. If you're using like hospitals and hiding under a hospital, you're in a residential neighborhood hiding under houses. Like you're that's using, some real dirty ish. You're using uh, like human shields. Essentially, you're yeah. just like, oh well, if you want to kill us, you're gonna have to kill civilians, and then then they look bad because they're killing civilians, but you're the ones making them do that to. That's like, fair. So it's it's I don't know, man. It's a real dirty war. It it would be kind of crazy if somebody were hunting like. A, a politician and that politician was like look I'm just going to stay at your house for a minute and I'd be like dude no I don't want you to stay here you're being hunted yeah it's and if you tell them no they're going to kill you though <laughs> what the hell well, yeah or like we're just chilling in the crazy town compound and somebody blows the whole thing up because like so, the most wanted fugitives staying in an apartment down the road oh uh, that would suck yeah, man. I don't want that? It, yeah, really. I, don't I want, want all of my neighbors to not have any international incidents. We already live in a bad neighborhood. We do not live in a. It's a good neighborhood. There's bad things Somebody's happen. Somebody's stealing gym equipment. They stole more. <laughs> Why are you telling the business? They had, my people. They had to send another email that said no questions asked if you bring it back. Guess what I no found out? No questions asked. Guess what I found out? They don't, the camera in there don't even work. So what? What did it even matter? They should have had the camera. Yeah, I should be the one getting free gym equipment. Except for I don't steal. God damn it. Anyways, well, back to want... back to war. Stealing is right, kids. Remember, <laughs> apparently, <Jesus. laughs> you should steal when you have the chance. Man, but you know what it did do? It, you know what? There's always a silver lining to everything. TNT. Is there a silver lining to this? No, man? not this to the gym equipment being stolen. What the fuck? Because because it got me to go back to the real gym. Oh, well, wonderful. I'm, yeah. ha I'm really and happy for you. You know, well, I was trying to keep it light at the end of the episode. We've been talking about murder. I think it's a haunting, um, a haunting idea is that this could become commonplace. If this is accepted as a common war tactic, this is it's a, it's it's a set a scary precedent. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I mean, the same as like when they just went on what was that? What was the date? I remember the the start of the whole war where they just went and murdered civilians at a music festival and raped them and stuff. That's uh, wild. That, yeah, I mean, uh, that's you just like, hey, we're invading a music festival and killing and raping twenty year olds have it at a concert that have nothing to do with this conflict at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's some war crimes there too. I'm pretty sure you can't do that anymore. No, <laughs> anymore. It's just, yeah. dude, it's just wild. Like, I mean, I you know, back in like the Viking days and stuff. Like, and I can't even Mongols believe that. Like, dude, it's just been mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the world is weird. <laughs> dude, the world is just so weird, man. I love it. Fluster Jonas is my favorite version. The world is weird, bro. It, it is. is very weird. You're not wrong. Like, I can't even believe that. Like. I couldn't fathom being like, and just being like, you know what we're going to do? I have an army. We're, yeah. And I'm just like, we're just going to go murder and kill and rape people at a music festival. It's, it's no secret that humans are, are violent creatures, man. Like, I mean, we're basically just bears. The, the, well, Smarter bears. Some people would say chimpanzees. Close, more Whatever, close. dude. I mean, just, you know, we're, 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 we're more human rhinos. Sure, yeah. We're out here just hippos gr grunting and a thrusting. Top of the food chain, just yeah. attacking anything that gets within our range. I man. mean, that's pretty much how it works. It's, it's really sad, like, because like borders don't really make sense. Like, it, it's, it's weird that we live on a planet where there's borders where, like, if I walk like 10 minutes like in one direction, I can have certain rights and privileges that I don't get here or I'm charged different prices for something that I am here. We live on one planet. Borders don't make sense, man. Like I people mean, people put so much value in a piece of land and it really means nothing. You don't yeah, own anything. It's, it's it's insane, man. So uh you know, just remember the next time you mad that Starbucks messed up your coffee, there's people that are blowing up people's houses cuz there's a terrorist living in the basement. Yeah. So I mean like just Try to chill out a little bit, man. It ain't so bad yeah. in America. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, there, it's, there's some crappy stuff here, too. But it ain't. <laughs> we killing each other here. Yeah. 
It, yeah. <laughs> from a former street. Yeah. <laughs> right. You in the wrong neighborhood. Oh, what? <laughs> like, I just needed I just needed some cigarettes. It's America. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the wrong neighborhood in America. I don't know. America man. is my neighborhood. Oh, I'm putting that on the shirt. America, what? Is a rough America is my neighborhood. Oh, I'm putting that woo, on the shirt. Man, let's okay. sell that on the internet. <laughs> I honestly think so. So, all right, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Put what you think in the comments for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.